a guy that I'm referring to is Crazy, crazy Uncle Colin. So Colin Coward um, has a, a little bit of a take on the fifth-year option for Baker Mayfield. Let's listen to Crazy Uncle Colin. The Browns have picked up Baker Mayfield's fifth-year option. Cleveland.com, that is where you go for your Cleveland Browns sourcing. And they are, it's Mardi Gras in Cleveland. And I just want to say, hold on, it's a pendant. This is dating still. This is not marriage. It's dating still. Let me give you a list of other quarterbacks who have had their fifth-year option picked up. And I know what you're saying. Colin, you're being a jerk. Blake Bortles, RG3, Marcus Mariota, Jameis Winston. It's a lot like Blake Bortles, by the way, and I'll get to that in a second. What this is, is Cleveland saying, listen, you're good enough. You're still young. We're going to watch you for a few years, but we're just too good right now to blow it up at quarterback and start over again. And next year's a lousy quarterback class. All right. As always, there's there's a shred of truth in everything Colin says. That's that's why he's a shred. Uh, that's why he is where he is. And, and you can't take your eye off him. Uh, but the difference is Cleveland hasn't. None of those franchises have been through 20 quarterbacks to find a franchise quarterback. That's the difference that he's missing in, in that point. You know, something else too, David, is that Colin has slammed Baker every chance he gets. So he's trying to get a little bit of credibility back when it comes to Baker, Bay, Baker Mayfield. For him to even compare Baker to a Bortles or Mariota, I could have told you in college, because it's what I do, watch guys play, that they weren't going to make it in the pros, okay? Then you look at RG3. What a great dude he is. I've always said, had he stayed single, I let one of my daughters marry him. He's a fine, fine man. You knew that he wasn't going to work either. And Jameis Winston, I won't say what I'm thinking, you know, okay? But number one, the guy throws the ball with frequency to folks in the other uniforms. And number two, he'd rather be standing on a table in the cafeteria yelling out sexist statements or perhaps having his way with co-eds. Don't even get me going on him. Yeah, and again, so I, I get where he's going with it, but, but the difference is there was a whole lot more of uh, things that checked the box for Baker Mayfield than any of those other guys. There is no doubt. And once again, he's trying to get a little bit more like, well, you know, to every chance. And I, I get caught too. Come on, the old saying, don't get hooked. I'm on the same station with him, the same network on Fox Sports. On a daily basis, I have to say to myself, just calm down. He's trying to get you to react. And I'll say this. Is he a sports guy? Absolutely not. You're, what do you call him? You're, you're crazy Uncle Colin. Yep. He is an entertainer. And he's trying to get a rise out of you. David, I'll grab my 21-year-old son and say, Junior, living in a Sigma Chi house in Ohio State, he would run circles around Colin when it comes to talking sports.